Hey, what's going on, you guys? Stepdoc here. Welcome back to the channel. Where today another tech video idea thing is gonna be for you guys to enjoy. And I hope you guys like this video. And if you do, please leave a like, and subscribe, and let's hop right into this. So basically, this video yeah. is about basically how to download stuff faster on your computer. So basically, this is what I mean. So this video is more addressing not your speed of your Wi-Fi, but more of your download speed on your computer. So basically. You know how like annoying Windows updates are, like how they get in your way, and your computer just out of nowhere kind of just feels slow? It's because Windows updates are blocking that download speed of, of websites, of programs opening, of anything, and it's just blocking everything so it's getting in the way of everything. And basically it's kind of useless to have. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change that. But before we do, here's your daily meme. There you go. Alright, so there's going to be two different ways to do this. Number one, it matters which version of Windows you have. So if you want to check the version of Windows you have, real quick, not to shut off my computer, is go here to system about and right there. So if you see I have Windows 10 Pro and that is the version I run. So yeah. Uh if you have Windows 10 Home, that's okay. We can work with that too. So, but I'm going to show you guys how to do the Windows 10 Pro version first. So basically what you do is you go down to run and then you go type in, uh, this will be down in the description if I remember, this code, click that. All right, so now you have this open. Also, before I, I continue, I got all this information from Chris Titus Tech. I have his link down in the description. I want to say thank you for all he does in content. He does great videos. You guys should check him out. All right, so you go to uh, you go to administ <laughs> administrative templates network, and you go down to QoS packet scheduler. Click on it, and then you click on limit reservable bandwidth. So basically, right here, it's going to say non-configurable, and it's going to say 80% usually for people. Basically, what you want it to say is enabled zero. That's all you want, and everything will be fine. You click apply, okay, and then just restart your computer if you have Windows 10 Pro. That's all you have, and that's all you need. Now, if you have Windows 10 Home, if you just have Windows 10 Home, you go down to run, and then you want to type in rig edit. Rig edit is what we're going to be using. You open it up, it's going to ask you for administration tool purposes. So, yeah. All right, now that we're in the registry editor, we want to go down to local machine, click on that. We want to go down to all uh, we're going to go down to software then we're going to say policies open up the microsoft folder and then basically while we're in here we click anywhere here in microsoft hit new key so basically what we want to name this and this matters about name so we want to name it hash ed you want to make it like that that's how you want to write it okay and you just hit that so now that we're in this folder, it tells you exactly where it is. We then hit new, and we want to make it D word 32 bit value. All right, so this name is what makes everything possible. You want to type in non best effort limit. Click OK. There you go. So now. Your registry will now read your computer and will say 0.0000 gives given to Windows for updates. So basically everything gets turned into for what your computer needs. So instead of loading it up with Windows updates, it then gets completely blocked out. And I'm telling you this, you could just go back on it. If anything bad happens to your computer, just go back, hit delete, and it completely removes it from your computer. So yeah. This is a video that I am really, I really wanted to show you guys because, well, it really helps out your computer. In my opinion, I've seen a difference. It just, just runs a lot better and downloads and everything. So yeah, hope this, I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. And if you guys liked it, then please give a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this to come in the future. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, don't forget to check out Chris Titus. He makes great videos. I have his link down in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.